So in the agency unit three, lesson two, we learn how to work with loops. Um, one of the things that I notice is it won't let me teleport my agent. It doesn't give me that option. So let me just show you how to do that real quick. All right, press enter forward slash TP at C that calls my agent and then teleport it to a specific location. I'm just going to say bring it to me. Alex S. Okay, I feel better now. All right, so let's look at our code, open up code. Now I've already done it just to save time. I've already done what it's telling me to do. But uh, so this is step six but it is getting our agent to dig out the ground in a four by four frame uh, and fill it. And eventually we're going to fill that with cobblestone. But first, let's just see if this works to dig out our foundation for our fountain. So let's do this. Fountain. Uh, so that's what that is doing is it's allowing us to make a perfect square and also it's uh, getting our agent to come back to the starting position, which is going to be super helpful. So you need to think about that. You need to think about that in math. What it's asking us to do is to uh, also create a loop that adds cobblestone. Not only is it asking us to hollow out the area that we're going to fill, but it also wants us to it also wants us to place cobblestone. If we look up here, let's just kind of look at what it's doing. So that's why we have this outer loop that is uh, repeating four times because it's a square. A square has four sides. So why do we need another loop inside of that? Well, it's repeating this move forward statement and destroying statement, right? So could you move forward by a number of steps? Sure. Uh, and you could even repeat that. But we need to go one by one so we can destroy each block as we move forward. And then after that, those that those steps, and we're taking five because we've moved back. He's starting outside of the square, right? And then we're setting him back up to do that exact same movement by turning him left and moving him back. Then we're setting right here our active slot to cobblestone and then we're just repeating the code but uh, instead of destroying let's change this to place we're going to place it down so that should work so that's what i like about this is that we're using loops for a very practical purpose, but we're also nesting loops. Just really showing you some really cool ways to apply loops. So let's compile this code. My sheet just fell in my hole. I don't think that will affect anything. So my agent's destroying. There's nothing there to destroy except for that sheep. I guess it didn't hurt the sheep. Oh boy. Sheep, you messed me up. So we're going to repeat it again. If that sheep doesn't fall back in that hole. So watch it again. And hopefully when you are doing this, a sheep doesn't fall into your hole. It's a bad day. All right. So anyway, there we go. 
Go away. Shoo.